Off with her head! Throw the book at her! Who knew I would get such strong responses simply for making a short little video mentioning how my closet was in Poshmark prison? It was very interesting. I guess maybe trolls kind of belong in prison, so they go together? Who knew? But I got my first troll on YouTube, so that was super fun. And the rest of you were amazing. Anyway, I'm going to stop beating around the bush. I'm going to let you know what happened with my closet, at least what I know what happened with it. And uh, yeah, there was a lot of speculation going on down in the comments. So we're going to talk about that too. Let's just get into it. All right. First of all, I have to say, uh, Diana, Jacob, Mary, Pam, I had to write things down because, you know, premenopause brain, it's a thing. Uh, <laughs> Renee, Pat, Casey, Joy's Love, Jerry. I really appreciate my regular subscribers for just being the awesome humans I can always count on to be here and be so much fun to talk to and really to have my back, to be concerned, to be worried. In fact, some of you were the first people who like messaged me and said, your closet's missing. And Pam was the one who messaged me this morning to let me know my closet was back. In fact, I had a feeling someone sent me a note and that woke me up and it was a note and it told me my closet was back this morning. Oh my gosh, that's a relief. Because seriously, 3,500 and some listings vanishing, that is a lot of work gone. And so for those of you who are supportive about it or trying to help me figure out what was going on, I really appreciate that. There were a couple people who were like, good, doesn't belong on Poshmark, or you know what you did, you should be banned from Poshmark. I'm like, seriously, how is that helpful to anyone? I, I've i heard about like some trolling or some really negative Nancy's or Nikki's or not Nikki. Nikki was super helpful. Anyway, we'll talk about her in a minute. Um, or I guess Ned's on other Poshmark channels or on Instagram and stuff. I'm like, huh, I hope they have a good life. And there was a Pam, not my Pam, a Pam or who was commenting some negative stuff and deleted all her comments, which I guess maybe she was just having a bad day or something because I don't know. It's just, it's, it's interesting. Cause the thing is I have this YouTube channel cause obviously I have a very small channel. I am not super adept at social media. I don't like playing games. That's just not who I am. I like talking about reselling. I like sharing my hauls and if I can help anyone grow their business while I'm trying to figure out how to grow mine, that's an awesome thing too. So it's kind of what's going on here. I, I'm not slick. I'm not pretending I know it all. So when this happened, I definitely wanted to share the in, the experience with my followers. So you knew what was going on because I know some of you check my closet and just kind of like to share and stuff like that. But you couldn't. It was gone. And for three days, I got no response from Poshmark. Now, some people had said that their account had had the same thing happen. So I had people email me and say, oh yeah, this happened to me. It's list perfectly. I got a, a note from Poshmark. This is what it said, but I didn't get the note until after three days. So I was hoping today was going to be the day, even though I'd gotten no information. Whew, so glad it was. Uh, and I was hoping I'd get some information from Poshmark. And in fact, I did. Let me tell you why my account, the terrible, horrible, awful thing I did that got my account banned for three days. Let me read this to you and I'll put it up on the screen so you can see it. I'll put it over here-ish. Hold on, I get my iPad. Oh, my nose itches. Okay. No, I don't want you to do that. No. Okay. Hi, Amy Bundle for Discounts, which is my name. You can change your name at the top of your Poshmark closet and I like to put, I like to have it start with an A. People use symbols, but I don't like those because those are first in the alphabet. So my name works, but then I say, hey, bundle for discounts, just as a little ad. Why not use a space? Anyway, so, hi, Amy, bundle for discounts, comma. Actually, yeah, comma. Thank you for your email and our sincerest apologies for this experience. Please note, we have reinstated your account. Thank you. We have an automated moderation system to protect our buyers and sellers and unfortunately, your closet was incorrectly flagged. Rest assured, we are constantly working on updating our system to make it more efficient and effective and will modify our system accordingly. Please don't hesitate to let us know if we can assist further and thanks for your understanding. Thanks, exclamation point, best Michelle. Thanks for reaching out. We'd love to hear what you think of your customer service. So for all of the speculation that was going on about List Perfectly or 
something else or I'm doing some horrible, terrible thing that I should know what I'm doing, apparently I was incorrectly flagged, as I was hoping, because I really am not a rule breaker. I mean, I got sent to the principal's office once when I was seven for a piano teacher look. Long, Well, okay, it's not kind of a long story. It's actually pretty funny. I mean, I think, anyway, I'll tell that story at the end. So if you're one of my people who love to hear stories, I'll hit you there. And if you're one of the people just stopping by because you want to know what happened with my closet, there you go. Nothing happened. But the fact that it took three days, so I had two orders that I had made that people had made on Tuesday morning. I couldn't ship out because I couldn't get my inventory numbers. Uh, so those are going out tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's it took three days to hear back from them. Some people down in the comments were super sweet and said, hey, this happened to me. This is what happened. It's a mistake. It's been flagged. And they said theirs only took 24 hours to get back. I was like, well, maybe I did do something wrong because three days people said they did something wrong or they didn't know. I don't know. And the thing is, it's a cool thing. The thing I really want to say about this, I guess, let's just get there, is Poshmark is not in the business of punishing people for making a mistake. If they punished every single seller for making a mistake, they would have no sellers because we are human. We have to make mistakes to learn. That's what happens. That's how we grow. That's how we get better. People who are adverse to risk actually never grow in life. It's If they're too scared to try something, they're too scared, they'll make a mistake they won't do anything and they'll sit there and they'll get stagnant and they'll get grumpy and they'll get jealous of other people who grow and learn and move on and support other people because they're too afraid to even do that. So the thing is, is I really appreciate Poshmark for giving people the opportunity to learn and grow in their system. I'm just starting out as a reseller. I mean, this is my, it's a year and a half now, but I'm, there's still tons of things to learn. Oh my gosh, I'm closer to two years. No, March, April, March slightly over a year and a half at this point, my second quarter four, which was going pretty well until this all happened and my sales. Psh. But my biggest takeaway from this is, and I mentioned it down in the comments to some people, is I really cannot rely on Poshmark for my income. Poshmark, I love Poshmark. I do really well on it. I work the algorithm. I list daily or relist daily. And so actually what I was doing was not cross posting when my account was, I was relisting on Poshmark. A pair of Ugg boots with sequins. They're super cute. I thought maybe they don't like Ugg anymore. Uggs anymore. I can totally talk, but I've been really kind of lax about cross posting my stuff to other platforms. I have a Depop, I have an eBay, but I don't have very many items on either. And I don't list daily, which you need to do to feed the algorithm. The algorithms must be Fred. Fred? <laughs> I'm going to call the algorithm Fred from now on. The algorithms must be fed. They're like hungry dragons that if you don't feed them, they're going to eat your head off or totally ignore you because you're not feeding them and go frolic off with some princess who feeds them cookies. I don't know. Mm. So my biggest takeaway from this is I do need to really bust my behind and get some... <laughs> I have 2,000 listings on Poshmark and I have like 200 on eBay. I need to get that balance there a little more. I don't know if I'm going to start listing on Mercari. I've been thinking about it also on Etsy because I have a lot of vintage. I love vintage. I love vintage. Um, but I think if I work on doing the three platforms I have better, that would be better than just starting a new platform to do mediocrely. Mediocrely? That's not a word. Anyway, you get the idea. So... That said, I have to say, I am so just appreciative of everyone who subscribed. And I think there are more people who subscribed. Thank you, by the way. I hope you stick around. Like I said, I do hauls. We talk about reselling. It's super fun. I mean, we just work together, keep each other company while we're doing this reselling thing, which is kind of lonely at times. So I like to hang out and talk to y'all. Um, but I didn't get emails about everyone. And I don't know if I said this. Okay, like I said, seriously, my memory... I think I need to take whatever it is that you take from memory, except I can't remember what they call it. Is it a ginkgo? I don't know. I feel old. Awkward. Um, nothing wrong with being old, just being old and forgetful. Hmm, I'm kind of trying to forget all of 2020 though, so maybe that's a thing. Anyway, I really appreciate you for just joining up, following along, being interested in seeing what happens. And the cool thing is, is we're super supportive here. We have, I have 
the most positive and awesome followers. It's so fun to come here and hang out. I just appreciate them. And for those of you who have joined the group, make sure you say hi below so that I can say hi to you if I didn't get your the email notification. Um, YouTube stops giving those after a while if a lot of people are commenting or subscribing. Hmm. Um, Teresa, thank you so much for sharing my video to Facebook. I was a little bit like, whoa, Facebook, people are getting negative over there. Um, but I do really appreciate it. It was such a kind gesture. Uh, Nikki Cotton, who was like riding through as like carrying a battle flag, being like, no, you stop being mean people, no bullies. I was like, thank you. I so appreciate you, Nikki Cotton. I don't know if she'll ever come back or if she's just passing through like a, I don't know, a savior in the night. Uh, anyway, I, I wanted a better phrase, but that's all I had right then. Um, so yeah, and all my regulars, you're awesome. I love you so much. You're amazing. I don't know how long I've babbled on about this, but the long and short of it is, is it was a mistake, which is really good to know. I just wish I knew it three days sooner. So I wasn't freaking out so much, but as you can see, I have a big old pile of things here to photograph. I have two liquidation boxes over there that I haven't filmed for you. I probably won't, but I do have one that just came in that I haven't opened and I just ordered, ooh, from a new liquidation place. First time I've tried it and I'll make a video about that one and talk about the process I had to go through to order from there, just in case you're interested. Got some more thrift stuff coming up and uh, I'm gonna do maybe a little try on of some vintage uh, Christmas sweaters because I may have gone slightly overboard shocker in ordering from Poshmark and I need y'all's help to decide what I'm going to keep to wear when I'm working uh, so to make those zoom meetings a little more fun for the kiddos or just what I'm going to sell because I probably don't need that many vintage Christmas sweaters we'll talk about that in that video anyway I hope everything is going well with you like I said this is just a fun super rambly video because really all I had to say was it was a mistake you saw the video oh I was going to tell the story about the piano teacher look I may have already said that in a video. I don't know. Let me know down below if I've told you the piano teacher story before. And if I haven't, I'll tell it to you at the end of a short unboxing. Because, you know, some people don't like the stories. They just want all business. And the business is very well now. Now that it is back up and running. But now I got to go get back in the algorithm's good favor. So I'm going to go list a whole bunch. Well, I got a photograph and then I got to list a whole bunch of stuff. Actually, I have a backlog from the last three days because I couldn't list anything. So we're actually a little ahead of the game. I hope everything's going well with you, that you are listing, relisting, selling all the things and being super kind and awesome humans like you always are. I love you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.